Good morning, good morning, and greetings to you. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here, isn't it? It is Tuesday. It is, uh, ah, I'm looking at the date. December 18th, 2018, 1818, what a good number. Welcome uh, for being here, for being present, and spending this half an hour together. Hello, Adrian. Welcome for all of you who are present at this moment. Come on, click, a, put a number one, show me, uh, let's share. And for those of you who is going, who are going to be a part of the reply, just jot down reply. And you know what? I like to answer to every single one of our emails. And I want to say thank you for those of you that last Friday contacted me, and we had 15-minute power messages, uh, power, what would I call it, mini power session and that's what we did we did power sessions and it was meany but it was powerful for four of you thank you for maggie thank you for jasmine uh yes it was jasmine thank you for annette and thank you for mark so it's been an incredible week how how was your day how are you doing? Hello, Adrienne. Happy Tuesday. It is a happy Tuesday. Why? Because we are in Southern California. When you walk outside, it was raining outside. But this morning, the sun is up, the sky is clear, and it's good. We need... Hello, Kelly. Hello, Karine. It's so good to have you here. So what is today all about? Today is about... Hmm... For those of you, just like one, one of my clients who came in and uh, had a session, the session was because he felt depressed, he's been feeling blue, he's been feeling down, not realizing what's going on. And uh, in our session, we discovered what depresses him. And it's nothing from outside, but his feelings, internal feelings. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. I am a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. So what I do with my clients, I like to say, instead of peeling away the Band-Aid and putting on a new Band-Aid, I like us to peel away the Band-Aid and allow the pus of that scar, of that, um, whatever it is, the pain, the scar, the hurt, the damage that has been done for, uh, for the pus to come out. And we do it so gently, lovingly. I hold your hand. But when there is a hurt and a pain or an emotional depression or something like that, and it is not consistent, but it feels as if blue, and he knew it's not the holiday blues, but has been going through this for the last five, six months. And the issue started long time ago. So came in for feeling depressed, feeling blue. And this is what we checked. We find out that sometimes relationships in life, in his life, um, it was about expectations, the expectations of him performing as a man, performing as, uh, um, as a fiancé, expectations of him performing not only as a man in the bedroom, as a man providing from work expectations because he wanted to leave his job that he is very, very disappointed and unsatisfied and yet staying there because of the expectations of his parent. So in a way, he was in a bind, created a bind, feeling stuck, feeling as if there is no room for him to grow. There is no room for him to move. And on top of that, 
he is expectation the expectations upon him that the holidays are here that he had to buy the gifts what is the gift that he has to buy for his girlfriend that it's considers herself as a fiance so all that was accumulating and he felt burdened so here's my question do you find yourself in a place that you feel stuck that you feel sad or blue or you have to perform due to someone else's expectations what about yours you see what I do is I help my clients and hold hand with my clients not necessarily physically but in a way hold space for them so they can allow themselves and give themselves permission to voice their needs their wants their desires their hurts their pain and what they expect of themselves and what if just what if even his own expectation of himself is not real and it's an accumulation of all that has been placed upon him to a point that he was not even satisfied and could satisfy in the bedroom you see he felt so burdened that the burden the expectations it was weighing on him so that's my question to you sometimes what we do is not necessarily hypnotize my client at all time we don't necessarily need to be hypnotized and I like to say I hypnotize my clients to become more clear it's hypnosis is an internal process we don't have to go into deep 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 state of relaxation to be zonked out but to have a place of serenity and comfort within so that we can become quiet so that we can hear and feel what we want from TV from radio even gas stations you go we are bombarded by expectations of the holidays of what we're supposed to do what we're supposed to say so in a way the holiday blues what I like to call just like my girlfriend telling me that her sister is sad and she's doing everything for her sister not to be sad and my question is why if she is sad why not allow her to be sad so she has permission to be sad as long as she knows what she is sad about so you see being angry being sad being frustrated feeling blue all those are nothing but emotions and emotions are just like thoughts they come and they go just like with the waves in the ocean they come and they go they recede back into the ocean so when we have those feelings and they come and linger longer longer than expected here is another word expectations who said we cannot be sad or angry or frustrated those are emotions and we feel emotions just like joy just like happy just like laughter it's not who we are we don't walk around angry at all times some do as long as they know what they're angry about Hmm? my mom gets angry I got angry this morning 
Was I angry? No. I was frustrated. Communication with my mom. So I walked out. And the last thing I said was, you don't have to yell in order for you to communicate what it is that you want. So because she was frustrated, she raises her voice and she knows I will not accept it. So I said at once, mom, please stop yelling. And so she got more upset and I said, okay, I'm walking out. And she gives me the look because it happens in my life too. It's not only that I am a therapist with other people. Believe it or not, I go through the same thing. I go through anger. I go through frustration. I go through happy and happy, happy, joy, joy. I go through this powerhouse to sometimes feeling blue. But what I do is immediately get into my zone and ask myself, what am I frustrated about? And how do I communicate my frustration? The same thing happened yesterday with someone I know. So what I did was kneel down so we are eye to eye level, just as I am with you right here, right now. And I said, I want to communicate in a way that we are communicating. How can I help you so that I am not frustrated? And when I get frustrated, I do not frustrate you. Let's find a dialogue. Let's find the means of doing this. And we did. You see, when we feel frustrated or angry, it's, there is an internal process. It says, I am hurt because I am not heard, I am not seen, I am not validated, or I am not being appreciated. That is why most of us get frustrated, sad, blue. It's that internal loneliness as if we are not seen. So that is my question to you. Do you feel not validated? Is there a time that you feel so frustrated you have to walk out and bang the door or someone bang the door at you? So this morning, my response to mom was, okay, mom, as long as you are frustrated, we are stopping right here, right now, and I am leaving. And I did. I left. I left. And as I come down the hill, and I'm thinking to myself, what if at this very moment an accident happens to me or to her? And what was the last word? The last word was, I hear you, but you don't have to be upset. To communicate so I am leaving at this very moment and I said it lovingly I said it gently and I walked out so in a way the message was conveyed in a loving way there are times that it's not but what if we turn that last word last message last communication with the ones that we want Instead of anger, resentment, because in a way, it is redirected to us. What if you walked out on you? That is my question. Would you walk out on you and slam the door on yourself? Or want to have the door slammed on you? So when we feel blue, it's okay. Take a moment, breathe into it, and let yourself know it's okay. What am I blue about? What am I sad about? What am I frustrated about? Is it they can't, they can't hear me, see me? 
or what I said was not validated. And if it's not, why not? So that brings me to another question. How often do you feel you are not heard? Because if it is few times, then it's just a communication thing. But when we feel frustrated that as if we are not seen in the family or we feel insignificant, then it is time for you to do something about you. It's for you to sit back and say, where in my life do I feel less than or insignificant? As the holidays approach, there is a sadness that comes upon us. We miss the ones that we love. We miss the ones or the idea of this love that everyone on Facebook is happy. They go places. They are being seen. They're popular. They're happy right? They have this beautiful Christmas tree and the kids and the dog and everything seems perfect. Seems perfect. Your life may seem perfect to someone else. So is it truly expectations that you have upon yourself? that makes you more sad, nostalgic, insignificant. And if that is the case, what if today, just for today, you create this mantra of saying, it's okay for me to feel I don't have to express it. I don't have to show it. I don't have to uh, tell it. What if I can take five minutes for me and do nothing? No expectations of performing, no expectations of buying, no expectations of having the perfect picture, the perfect look, the perfect tree, the perfect home, because there is no perfection. There isn't. I saw a dog yesterday, a bow-legged dog, cute as a button, Maltese. And I was told, because some people know I am looking for a dog, and at the right time, the right dog will come to me, to my house. She also let me know that the dog is bow legged And I said, you know what? And that is the perfection of that dog. That is the perfection of that dog. Because... My jaw is not perfect. My mouth is not perfect. My nose may not be perfect. The pictures we see are not perfect because so many of them are edited. Even friends that you see. If you walk inside a home, from the outside, the house is decorated. Inside, you don't know. Inside your body, you don't know. Inside the person who sits next to you, sleeps in the room next to you, we don't know. So, the best thing we can do when someone is sad, say, may I seek with you? That's it. So, when was the last time you sat with yourself? And you said,
that's it. That was less than a minute. And if we can take just one bell to remind us once an hour to take one minute of silence with no expectation, no thought, no expectations of I should, I could, I must. In my language, in the Armenian language, there is a word called piti. I like to take that word out, especially coming from families and parents and bosses and even from us to us. And the word piti, if we were to translate it, it's must. You must do this. Must is equivalent to expectations and i'm not saying all expectations because we expect certain things to be in place but the expectations that weigh us down physically mentally emotionally professionally personally that we can't even perform because the expectation is so much that it has to be perfect especially for men especially for women the expectation of the spread has to be perfect or else the shoe, when is the next shoe going to drop? The expectation of you having from your children or the bow has to be perfect on that packet. You see, those expectations are such negativity. And I want for you just for today, give yourself the gift of just be. That's it. One minute every hour. And think of nothing but love. I love, I am, I am love. What if you could believe and repeat those words, I am love those are three words i which is a power word that stands on its own m the validation love the universal love light and if you could say i am love and that's it you don't have to expect anything else to come after that. You can even share that with someone that you care for and have them repeat that. So in a way, a guided meditation starts with you for you to take one minute, five minutes, three minutes, and just do nothing but repeat that mantra. I am love. And just breathe in and breathe out. Just like the waves in the ocean. Constant consistent and ever so real. So today, that is my gift to you. For you to gift yourself the power 
and the permission to be. Just pure love. So at this very moment, take a few moments and sit back. That's it, sit back. <coughs> and close your eyes for just a moment. And as you relax, Allow every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body to also become relaxed. And as you are breathing in and out easily and gently, allow your eyes and eyelids to close because you can see beyond what is without seeing with your seeing eyes. Hmm. And very gently stretch your hands. Stretch all the way to the front. As if just facing like this. That's it. Expand and palms up. Release. So one more time. As if gathering all the energy all the way up and roll it up as if a sphere is inside the palm of your hands and exhale. Releasing, opening, expanding your lungs, your chest, and drop your hands. Just let it go. And as you breathe in and out easily and gently, allow all types of colors, shades, shapes that come in your vision into your mind. Let it come and go, just like thoughts, like emotions. Just release them. That's it. Allowing that inner child, inner you, to become playful and see. Just smile with your inner smile, not necessarily with your face. And as you are sitting and listening, just allow yourself to listen where there is nothing to see. And at this very moment, nothing to know, nowhere to go, just being present. Being present with yourself. And listen to the sound of your own breath as you inhale and exhale. That's it. Dropping your shoulders. Dropping expectations. Letting go of all the he said and she said. Allowing all sounds 
from the outside to incorporate and as you hear it let it go no matter what sounds you hear become aware and let it go and at this very moment allow your body to know internally that in mind, body and emotions you are connected and that you are safe within your body That your mind is sharp and clear and clearer from this day forward. That your heart is open to receive, to expand, to love. The love within yourself. To you. That your body is strong and open to healing. That if there is a scar, a pain, a hurt, you take this very moment and say thank you. With your eyes closed, you see beyond, you see within. And if there is a tear flowing down from your eyes, it's okay. And validate all your emotions. The good ones, the happy ones, the sad ones, the melodramatic ones. Just validate you. Mm. Perhaps even yawn. But expand. Yawn one more time. Even the sound of a yawn, the sound within. Sending vibrations of love, of oneness, of validation, self-validation with no expectations of just being present. This very moment. For you are precious. You are loving. You are a gift. And I want you to let that know in case you have forgotten. It doesn't matter where you are, where in life you are, how rich in heart or with things you are. You are rich in your heart. So today, you say, I am love. I am loving. I am lovable. I am present. And I welcome love 
and all those who enhance, share, stand beside me, with me. And that becomes your mantra. And you share that love with your own inner child and all who are with you. Now breathe in and out easily and gently. That's right, expanding it and allowing it to come from inside you all the way up into your skin and goes from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet and every step that you take from this day forward that I am love. Every step I take, I bring more love, I feel love, and I share love, knowing I am of love. I come from love. Even if you don't feel like this for, at this very moment, give that permission to yourself to feel. No expectations on when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. Just be. And with each and every breath that you breathe in and exhale all the negativity, exhale expectations, exhale and let go of what was. Start this moment. And if you repeat this mantra today, every day, for the next 30 three consecutive days, you will see a change within you. Do it as you awaken. Do it, do it as you open your eyes. It will take only one minute. I am love. I welcome what is in store for me today. I send love and send it to a specific person. Send it, this love, to a special person, either living or not. And always remember that the person in your heart, the one that was supposed to be with you, is only from the inside. So keep that loving thought. And they are. That energy, that love, will always surround you. And do it at night, before you go to sleep, as you lay there. I am. And Lord, let those be your last words before you drop into deep state of trance, hypnosis, and deep sleep. I hope today's session was beneficial to you. And if it was, please drop me a line either right here right now by saying something make a comment let me know if these sessions are beneficial and what, what what else you would like me to share and help you with and if it's been on a replay let me know you've been watching it on a replay for I come to you every single Tuesday, like clockwork. Heal Talk Tuesday comes to you every Tuesday at noon. I'm starting next year, 
starting January, I will not be present on my page, but I will be moving to my professional page, which is Heal Within. I will place the link here so you will know. Starting January, you can find me on Heal Within, right here on Facebook. As a matter of fact, starting January, I will be bringing you more than just Heal Talk with Lisa. So stay tuned. God bless. Do your mantra. Repeat it for 33 consecutive days. And let me know how it has benefited you and made a difference. Let go of expectations and let it happen. With that, this has been a beautiful moment being present with you. And thank you for all of you who are present right here. And I see Becky, Jasmine, Alina, Andre, Silva. Uh, hi, Ruby. Hi, Humpy. It's been incredible. Thank you for friends from a long time ago. It is awesome to be here with you. And for those of you who see me at events and say thank you, it has made a difference, believe it or not, I thank you for your comments. So if you have benefited, feel this, this is worthy, it makes a difference for you, or you share it with someone else, please, the only way this makes a difference is for me to know, for me to become better, for me to bring you more of what you want. And the last thing I say is Merry Christmas to all of you celebrating Christmas. And I will see you next Tuesday on Christmas Day. That's right. I'm not going to miss it. No matter what holiday, no matter where, I will be present for you. So thank you. God bless you. This is Lisa. And see you next Tuesday. Mm. Coffee time.